All right, guys, I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on how to fix your RoboRock vacuum if you're getting the air duct blockage notification. First thing to do is check the dust bag and see if it is full. So you pull this off. If this is not full, you probably have a blockage. If this is stuffed full absolutely to the max, then just pull the bag out and replace it with a new one. You've got a really simple fix on your hands. Otherwise, I'm gonna show you how to fix it if this thing is not full. The next thing you wanna do is go ahead and take out the water bins and then tilt the whole base station over and you're gonna remove the ramp at the bottom here. Check that inside to make sure that there's no blockages and then check these ducts. Now if you look down here in this vent right there, you can see there is a bunch of stuff blocking it. So we're going to go ahead and clear that out. You can either do that with a shop vac or you can do that with a claw grabber. All right, so this is a claw grabber. I'll put a link down to this in the video description. You just push this end right here and the claw comes out and it's flexible. Oh, there's something. We've come in from this side, we're gonna come in from the top now. We're gonna to pull the bag back out, we can reuse this. And there's a bunch of screws right here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. So you will want a number one Phillips, it looks like. It's the smaller Phillips drive. I'm just gonna back these screws off. Those three screws that we did are right here, right here, and right here. All right, go ahead and pull this tower off. It's clear here. I see a blockage down below. There's our blockage right there. So we're gonna grab that with the flexible grabber. Ooh, there it is. There is our clog. Now, I think we've got everything. I'm gonna double check. Yeah, it feels like I'm at the bottom. Oh, no, there's more. Now I'm at the bottom. All right, there we go. It's all cleaned out. I'm gonna vacuum out the inside of this with a shot vac again. All right, we're gonna put this tower back on right now. These grooves just line up with these ribs right here. Just slide it down, and it should line up with that boss for the screw hole there. And these at the top pop in and hold it in place. Make sure those are seated, otherwise this thing can lean forward and it won't seal, and you won't get good suction when you empty your vacuum. So we're gonna take these, and we'll put them back in those original holes. Remember, turn them backwards until you hear it click, because you don't want to thread it twice. Here, I heard it click. Let me turn it forward. Don't over tighten, or you will break the plastic. Do not use a drill for these, because you can't get the feedback you need for putting plastic screws in. All right, so there we go, all back together. And since this bag is not full, it's about halfway full, it feels like, I'm gonna put it back in and save this one for later because we found the cause. It wasn't a full bag. It was just a clog. All right, pull that out, put our water bins back in. Um, first, we're gonna reattach the base here. Pop it on, it's as easy as that. Tilt it back in. Now let's put the vacuum back on it and make sure it empties okay. All right, that wasn't nearly as loud as before. I'm pretty happy we got the blockage cleared and it's not telling me that there's a blockage. So we're good to go. This down here is all that we cleaned up out of there. So tools you really, really, really need for this are a screwdriver and a grabber like this. A shop vac also really comes in handy. I'll put links to all these in the description.